I am back. I am so excited because this video is all about items that I got for my birthday this month and I can't wait to share them with you guys. I did some, I did the biggest thing I have ever done for myself for my birthday and I can't wait to share it with you guys. So let's get right to it. Okay, so I'm just gonna share with you some of the things I bought and where I went, where I got these things. And so let me just start off. I got two of these boxes right here. Uh, as you can see, I can't hold them up. Uh, so as I hold them up here, how perfect, selfie. Uh, okay, so let me do this one first since this one is sitting right here. In this box, you know what is my favorite thing to buy and that is shoes. And so, can't go wrong ever with a pair of shoes. So, these sandals, I saw somebody had them on black and I was like, I don't need another pair of black sandals. But, I saw these in a neutral color and I'm like, I have to try these on. But these, I love these. I don't know, I call them a, a, a modern dead sandal but from Hermes and I love them a lot and so I'll link I'll find the name like I said in the go for you they came in a couple different colors but here's the thing when I got them I will tell you too you definitely have to try these things on for different sizes I think I'm typically a 39 in shoes and I think I got these in a I think I got these in a 40 I think I think so I'll double check let me tell you what I did quickly and then I'm going to get to the rest of the stuff. So the straps were too long for me. And so I took him to a um, shoe repair and I actually had him, the straps were too long for my ankle. Like literally it was like wrapping around. I look horrible because it was hanging. So I had him cut the strap. So then it only, so I only kept the part that I actually needed. But bottom line is don't not get something, you know, shoes or clothes. If there's something that can be fixed or it's slightly altered, then definitely do it. Because if I had gotten any size, size smaller, then the shoes would have fit. They wouldn't have fit properly in the length. And then who knows about the top? I'm not really sure. But anyway, I love these. Um, I think I wore them already one time because I got them this month and I absolutely love these shoes. So if you think about it, they're so comfy. So that's one pair of shoes that I got um, when I was in New York. And then something else that I got, I got a pair of Dior sunglasses. I'm still on the fence about these. I haven't even worn these yet, but I'm gonna show you guys because I was trying to just think about things that I don't already have and stop buying the same thing like my rimless aviators and things like that. Although it works for me and I just keep buying them. But I was trying to do something different. So y'all have to let me know what y'all think below. Should I keep these or should not? As you can see, I still have the tag on them because I'm not really sure what to do. Keep them or don't keep them. Thumbs up or thumbs down. No, no, don't give me any thumbs down on the video. Just tell me, should I keep them or should I not? What do y'all think? So I'm on the fence. I haven't worn them yet, but I want your honest feedback. Okay, I'm going to transition to... During the course of the month for my birthday, I did a couple different things. Um, one of the things that I did was I went back to Saratoga Springs, which is upstate New York. So I left the city and went there. And on the way to Saratoga Springs, it's like a perfect mid destination stop is a stop at Woodbury Commons Outlet. And I know everybody knows about Woodbury Commons. I didn't do too bad of a damage, but it was just a nice stop as we transitioned to Saratoga Springs. Um, and the two stores that I got things from uh, from Woodbury Commons is this beautiful, beautiful Gucci blazer. OMG, OMG. I did wear it once already with a pair of jeans. I'll actually insert the picture right now for you guys. 
Oh my gosh, I love this. And the camera definitely is picking up the, uh, the the correct color. Oh my gosh, I love it. It fits so nice and streamlined and nice and long. I absolutely love. And the fabric, I think, is like sort of like a combination between like a wool and a cotton. And I love the fact that it's an open pocket here and not a flap over. And, um, and here's a little tip I'm going to tell you. This is a men's jacket. So I think it's a 44, but it's a men's jacket. Obviously it's meant to fit like really snug and slim line for a man, but it fits perfect for me. I already have it in a different color, but I love it so much. You know what they say, if you like it, get it in multiple colors. And that is, I went to the Louis Vuitton store. I know I'm going to say that wrong, Louis Vuitton store. And I got one of the sweat the other sweater so i think it was like a little bit more than half off yeah. so this i picked up these pants when i was in zara and these are some cute wide leg cargo pants i guess you would say i'm going to try them on and i'll insert the picture now they're really nice and long i want to wear them with like chunky oversized uh shoes first and then i'll get them hem shorter and then wear them with other shoes because they're so long right now but i love the fabric i love the fit and um Here's the tag and they were just $59 at Zara. Who knows? They may even be on sale right now because I know Sarah is, Zara is having a big sale. Okay, something else I got while I was in New York. You know, before I switch to another uh, clothing item, I'm going to share with you a couple different um, makeup things that I got uh, this month for my birthday. A couple new brands that I normally don't wear. And, and stay tuned because I am going to be doing a video really soon on some of the items that I really feel that complement when you're thinking about like that natural look, natural tone, natural texture for um, anti-aging for people like myself or in general anti-aging just to uh, not look over made up, I guess you say, when you want to keep it as natural as possible. But yeah, I love. So this is like a, um, like a, um, it's like a, a bronze it's a bronze stick but it is so sheer and neutral and kind of gives you a nice little like highlight a glow like you kind of like put around the whole cheek area without feeling like a highlight and it kind of gives you like a natural um hydrating glow and then still putting your your blush on top so i love that and speaking of blush something else that i bought same thing westman atelier is this beautiful pink cream blush this thing is so pigmented all you need like a tad bit like it it goes a tad bit goes a long way let me put it like right there so you can see like see oh uh, a couple more cream blushes that i love right now this one is oh who is this one by fox and glow no oh duh rose ink got this from sephora and the color that i got was fox glow so you know like another beautiful peach coral color once again like it really goes on just put it on with your fingers a little bit or or a brush but then you know blend it in with your beauty blender and it just kind of gives you a nice little hint of color without putting on a powder blush i just picked up another one uh another cream blush yes i'm on this cream blush kick especially i think because of the heat and everything you just don't want to feel like you have on makeup on your face because i have oily skin and i just get icky after a while so this one i got from giorgio armani uh and the color i will link below something new neo nude i think it says <clears throat> look at that so that's more of a bronzy coral color um, but it's so sheer, no sparkly in it, just a hint of cream blush that's very sheer. And it goes, let me see if I could put on a little bit for you guys. Let's see. Oh my God, it feels so good. Let me put it right there. See that? So it's like a more of like a, a, a brown, orange coral color. Oh man, that feels so good. They both feel very similar in regards to like texture. So, so pretty. Um, and then I found a couple like sheer like lip balm colors that's hydrating too. You guys know I love the brand Shantakai. And this is one one of their newer lines. It's, they call it like a, a lip balm. I think they call it like a rouge lip balm. And Myobi is this one color. No surprise, a beautiful pink. I'll put it right here for you guys. 
so pretty and i thought that was nice to kind of go with that blush that i got the cream blush by westman atelier so pretty the key thing is it's sheer it's hydrating so you don't feel like you have on like lipstick and um and then this one i just bought <laughs> another thing but this one has a tinge bit of brown in it uh and this one is by giorgio armani once again it's just so so pretty like that's definitely more of a neutral compared to that other one but they're both when you put them on honestly they're both like really like natural looking and not like feel like you feel like you have lipstick on and i actually had this on early today i'll put a little bit more on for you guys so 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 pretty okay so that's this color i'll link the the colors below because i don't have my glasses on and i don't know if i gave you guys the right color so i don't want to tell you wrong okay so next i um oh something else i did for myself i treated myself to a um birthday facial and complete body massage i have not done that probably since before before covid um so I'm back here at my spot that I love to come to in Philadelphia called Rescue Rittenhouse. I'll link everything below, but uh, I'm continuing to invest in myself this weekend. So, and actually, uh, I don't know if I can do a quick outfit of the day of what I have on, but I actually did have on this short set that's a blazer. Uh, can you see that? Um, by Blue Salt. So I have on the blazer, or old Celine knockoff t-shirt. Um, the shorts, they're just like all sweatshirt fabric. And then my dad sandals, um, <laughs> my dad sandals. Um, but anyway, I just had a great time. I'm so glad. I'm so glad that I actually took the plunge. And once again, this week was all about just re-energizing myself, researching myself, um, continue to inspire myself, um, to continue to do the things as this title says, things that I need to do, should do and the desires of my heart and investing in yourself. So I hope this helps you guys, but I am going to continue to take this journey um, with you this week and whatever else I decide to do um, to continue to celebrate my birthday this week, I'm going to take you with me. So, okay, so let's head it out. All right, I'm leaving now. All right, bye. I'm gonna share with you two more things and then I'm gonna reveal the biggest thing that I have ever done, y'all biggest <sighs> okay um i got another outfit Saks, as you guys know is having a big sale you know everybody's having a big sale right now but i just thought this outfit was so cute that i had to get it you know i love white and so i got this um little outfit uh by philip leem and it is so so cute it's like a long it's like a peplum in the front but longer in the back with the split in the back i'll actually try it on for you guys and uh and the matching pants you can just buy it separately if you like but i just thought it was nice just to have the option to have a set now i'm gonna reveal something else i got when i was in new york I haven't even unwrapped it because it was like so cute. I thought I'm just going to save it and unwrap it with y'all. But oh, I was like, I didn't want to unwrap it. It is so cute. It's not a pocketbook. I will warn you that now. But it is something that was just released last week from Chanel for the fall and I thought don't wait you love it just get it now because it won't be here a month from now and that is another pair of shoes but I got the new dad sandals and the pony hair OMG OMG when I saw um, I think it was Michelle Wang put these up that she had gotten these. And as soon as I saw them on her page, I was like, oh, I have to have those. And oh my gosh. And when I, I was, when I walk into the store, I'm so used to Chanel, like, oh no, we're sold out or, or no, we don't have that size. So I had my hopes 
in the neutral because I just know how it is. And when I walked in, because it was New York City, I think because things aren't as hectic right now because it's slow because people are away. People that are in the city right now are basically like tourists and things like that. And, and you know, it's, the city is quiet this time of the year. So it's actually the best time of the year. If you guys don't know this, that is actually the... Um, the most cost effective time of the year to go to New York City is in the dead of the summer because that's when it's the cheapest, that's when it's the quietest, and that's why it's the cheapest and the quietest. So in my opinion, it's the best time to go to New York City. So, uh, so anyway, I got these new pony hair dad sandals. OMG, I love these. Soon as I put them on, now, let me, let me take that off the paper. OMG. They're so nice and they're trimmed in the black piping as you can see and then they have the um oh my gosh the shearling so it's the shearling uh and your feet with your underneath your feet but look at the back omg i love these and when i say i put these on and i was like oh, i love them i actually got these in a 39 um, I know when Michelle uh, said it that she sized down like almost a whole size. I don't know how she did that because if you do that, in my opinion, although they're, they're already oversized, but you know, they have that like little dip down there. So your foot has to go in there. Your foot's not going to go back here. So you almost, in my opinion, if you size down at all, I wouldn't do any more than a half a size. I, you, I wanted to do a little birthday gift to myself. It is, I'm continuing to put myself out there every day, more and more getting outside of my comfortable zone. And so y'all, I have really taken the plunge this time. You know, I started my YouTube channel, I started Instagram and Facebook, and you guys never, you know, I never did social media. But um, now I am just totally putting myself out there. If I can do it, you can do it. Whatever it is that make you uh, a little bit uncomfortable, and uh, you want to continue to challenge yourself and try different things, um, I'm going to say let's continue to take this journey together, y'all, because I'm going to show you what I did for my birthday. So, one, two, three. have put my billboard up for the very first time to let everybody know if you don't tell people what your heart's desires are, then they don't know how to help you and how to support you. So my heart's desire is continue to help people find their dream homes, sell their homes, transition to another home, um, or just finishing their homes just the way they want to live in their homes so they can smile every day when they wake up. And so that's what my heart's desire is. Happy birthday to me. Well, I am wrapping up my birthday month and there is no better way I thought than to spend some time with my parents which I'm excited about so I am about to hit the road traveling a little bit um, and so here is my um, my quick travel outfit I guess my Hermes little scarf my little gold little huggies um, that I got from the stand some uh, my little Celine uh, initial charm that was really meant for earrings um my little tj max other gold jewelry um, a super old cashmere tank same for this oversized top it is so old you guys um but my shorts i'm still loving i got these like two years ago these are actually um like sweat shorts from and i got them from h m two years ago and they're actually men's and i think these are like size small or medium men's but i love them because they're nice oversized i have pockets and they're not so wide and they're not tight which i love and i'm gonna um bend down the camera i just want to show you guys i'm wearing for the first time uh, my first pair of sandals that i got from uh i can never say this right how do you guys say this pio perne um Lorelei piane so I am wearing these. I think I showed you guys I had just begotten these and uh, just gotten these in the beginning um, of the month. So I'm wearing these for the first time. They are so comfortable. I will say, I definitely, I will say this, you guys. Let me sit down and tell you this. I don't know if my feet are changing. I don't know what's happening, but there are certain brands now where I have to go like a whole size up. And this was one of the brands. I think because of the, um, the support arch there, 
my foot wasn't lining up properly to hit that spot comfortably so I would be comfortable when I'm walking. So my SA um, recommended I go a size up and he was actually spot on. And it's not too long or too big or anything. And you're able to adjust the strap so it can make, make it tighter around your foot if you needed it. But yeah, so anyway, I'm wearing these for the first time I love. So I will put those back on. And then I'm just gonna carry my uh, Hermes crossbody bag when I need to get out of the car. And I figured while I'm away, it's just a good bag to have anyway. Okay, can you see it? Yeah, so this is my outfit. My quick travel outfit, which I'm loving. Love, 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 love. Thank you for celebrating with me for this month. I am so excited um, what God's continue to do for me, through me, for me, through me, and with me. And thank you for the support. Subscribe and like right now. Before you leave me, I really, really appreciate it. Love you guys. Thank you so much. And, uh, and I'll be seeing you really soon.